Piriformis syndrome is something that a lot of runners come into my office with, or at least piriformis syndrome that they think they have. So we're gonna talk about the piriformis muscle really quick. It is a muscle right about here. It's a deep internal gluteal muscle. So it's pear-shaped and it's a little bigger than your fist and it's very deep. And so a lot of patients will come in with deep butt pain and they will assume it's the piriformis. Piriformis is always the culprit in my patient's eyes, but actually it's not. And I'm gonna show you a test really quick to explain how you can tell if it's real piriformis syndrome or it's something nerve derived because there's a lot of important nerves that run through that area too. But before that, we're gonna get into the anatomy real quick. So the piriformis runs from here to here and it's involved in external rotation of the leg or resisting internal rotation. So the first test I'm gonna show you is you're gonna to have to find a wall because your back needs to be completely straight to rule out any spinal related causes of pain. And you're gonna find your wall and you're gonna do a movie star stretch because, so find a wall, one leg straight, you wanna find the side with the piriformis, pick it up, cross it over and pull it in and pull your knee across. And if you feel the same pain in your glutes that you feel when you're running, then it could possibly be, it's more likely to be piriformis syndrome than to be nerve derived. But it can't feel like a stretching feeling. It has to feel like the exact same pain. Otherwise, it's most likely not piriformis syndrome. So similarly, if you were to take this leg and you were to push down like so, and that recreates your pain, it's more likely to be piriformis syndrome because you're actually doing the action of the piriformis. But if, it, if that doesn't hurt you, then it's not as likely to be piriformis. Similarly, we can do a test using a chair to test this as well. So you go ahead and put your hands behind your back, scoot to the very edge of the chair with your sit bones, and you're going to bend forward over your ribs like so, and go ahead and Straighten your foot all the way, um, straighten your leg, straighten your knee, and then bring your toes up to, towards your head and lean down. Now, if you feel pain in your gluteals when you're doing that, it's not your piriformis because nothing in your leg connects all the way up to your piriformis. Your piriformis goes from hip to pelvis and it doesn't go down. So if doing this hurts you, and then bringing your head up relieves it, it's something neural because that there are actually uh, nerves that connect all of those regions, unlike the piriformis muscle. So if you're curious about this or if you have more questions about piriformis syndrome or anything else, any other running injury, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave me a comment, or go ahead and visit my website, www.chiropractic.com because I'm here to help you. I wanna get you back running Happy, healthy, and fast. Thank you.